on this website right now, the Google tag is installed with SiteKit. SiteKit, it's a plugin from Google. It's free and it's available in the WordPress plugins directory. I want to show you how you can manage Google Consent Mode with SiteKit and Consent Magic. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. Our main plugin, Pixel Your Site, installs all sorts of tags, including the Google tag. However, some clients use our plug plugin for uh, Metapixel and uh, SiteKit for Google Analytics. And the question is, can you still use our constant plugin, constant magic, to correctly manage consent from Pixel Your Site tags, but also consent from Google for uh, Google, including uh, Google consent mode? And the answer is yes, you can. I want to show you exactly how it works and uh, what you need to enable inside Consent Magic and what and how to test your um, uh, Google Consent mode for SiteKit. So, what you need to have inside Consent Magic is very simple. This is Consent Magic. We have various rules, and uh, here on the settings page, make sure that you have Google Consent mode enabled. Once you do so, Google Consent mode works the way it should. Let me show you. This is Tag Assistant, the default tool when it when you want to test your Google Tags. Let's see. Consent, everything is denied. Uh, is denied because I didn't gave my permission yet. Now I will say allow all or I can say uh, I can configure various categories. I will show you later on how this works. And the consent is updated and now it's all granted. Uh, this is basically Google consent mode. This is how it works. Those parameters are, are mandatory. Add storage, analytic storage, add user data, add personalization. And uh, inside constant magic, we have a few settings. You can uh, assign here, scripts and cookies, predefined scripts, you can assign a category for each parameter. By default, alt storage goes under marketing, analytics under analytics, uh, user data under marketing, and add personalization under marketing. You can change it if you want to, and you can create new categories if you think is necessary. Um, why is this important? Let me open Tag Assistant again. Now, instead of allowing all, I will just uh, enable analytics and uh, let everything else turn off. And uh, let's see how the constant looks like. Denied. This is the first uh, um, interaction. And then updated only analytic storage was granted because only this parameter was uh, configured under the analytics category everything else was under marketing marketing was not allowed so it's still denied and the cons google consent mode that's it this is the basic uh, stuff about google consent mode that's what you need it's actually mandatory starting from March 2024 and I wanted to show you that it's possible to manage Google constant mode for tags that are not installed with Pixel Your Site but in this example with uh, SiteKit, a plugin from Google. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site and you can find uh, our constant plugin, constant magic on pixelyoursite.com. Thank you for watching.